Hello and welcome to the Bind King stock market Q&A live stream. We do this exclusively on my Discord and I only answer questions that are asked by my Discord members. So if you want to join that Discord, be sure to click the link in the description to join my Discord group. Yeah, so Tesla stock up 10% today, over $1,800 a share. What does this mean for the stock? First and foremost, we got to figure out why the stock is up so high today. And I have personally not seen any news. Um... Looking down here, Tesla reported bad news out of China. Why is stock rising? Tesla extends rally with market value nearing consumer giant Procter and Gamble. Okay, so there's really no news for Tesla stock right now. So why is it really booming? And I believe that this is off the backs of consumer confusion or investor confusion with this stock. A lot of people are being told or they perceive that once Tesla stock splits and it goes to, let's just say it's gonna be like $350 a share and people think, oh, then it'll go up to $1,000 a share even faster. And this is where a lot of people are wrong. You see the stock price moves um, as a result of the market cap also moving up because what a stock price is, it is the market capitalization of the company, which the market cap is the the value of each share of the company combined. So if Tesla has, I'm not sure how many shares outstanding Tesla has, right? So Tesla has 186 million shares outstanding. Each of those shares cost $1,800. And so when you add all those up together, that's where you get the $337 million market cap. So, um, in order for Tesla, if Tesla was priced at $350 or $300 a share, once the stock splits, in order for Tesla to go to $1,000 a share again, the stock is going to have to obviously 3.33x again. So, in order for Tesla to do that, the market cap also has to 3x. And what people don't realize is if Tesla is at a $300 million or $300 billion market cap right now, in order for it to 3x, that means that the market cap of the company will have to be near $1 trillion. So for Tesla to go from a $300 billion company to a $1 trillion company, it's just a feat that's going to be crazy. Crazy. First off, I don't think their sales are there to get them to a $1 trillion market cap yet. Who knows how quick they'll get them there. I'm not a Tesla expert, but a lot of people fail to realize that, well, they think, oh, yeah, it'll be more affordable, so people will just buy it up and it'll go up to $1,000 a share again. And they don't realize how crazy it will be for Tesla to go from a $300 billion market cap to a $1 trillion market cap and how just unfathomably unhealthy it would be and the reason why I say unhealthy is because I'm going to show you guys some factors as to why I think that Tesla stock is already not so healthy at the current price it's at right now so if you guys want it to 3x from here I already think that it's trading at a more rich valuation than you could ever ask for so I want to delve into those numbers right now so again Tesla almost a 340 billion dollar market cap EPS one dollar and 93 cents a share which means that for every share of tesla that you buy for one thousand eight hundred dollars only two dollars of that accounts for the amount of profit that this company brings in each year or just this past year since um their revenues and their profits are obviously going to be growing from here on out so this incredibly low EPS compared to their share price right now gives them an incredibly high P.E. ratio of a 935 times multiple. Ridiculous. This means you are literally paying. So if I were to have a lemonade stand, this is my favorite analogy, and I, I produced $1 in profit and then some guy from up the street is jealous of my lemonade stand and thinks that I'm making so much money when really I only made one dollar of profit he comes up and says um, what are you willing to sell the company for and I say nine hundred and thirty five dollars and he buys it doesn't know any better well he just bought a company that only produced one dollar in profit in one year for nine hundred and thirty five dollars so if you guys think that's a fair value <laughs> then maybe uh, then maybe I'm the one that's um, not thinking straight right now, but I probably wouldn't buy that business for $1,000. And I want to look at the price to sales ratio as well. 
As you guys know, I like a price to sales ratio in a company that is below a 10x. That just means, um, same analogy, so if a lemonade stand is producing $10 in sales, not profits, just sales, and they still have to pay their employees and uh, buy their inventory with, all, uh, with their sales, they produce $10 in sales, a 10 times price to sales ratio would mean that I buy that company for $100. So you're paying 10 times what it produces in sales. Um, so yeah, I don't like to pay more than 10x. It's it, it's too rich for me. So price to sales ratio on this company is a 12.26. Now for a growth company like Tesla, it's not too crazy. I've definitely seen a lot higher price to sales ratio 30 times plus. So a 12 isn't the worst thing in the world. It's still too rich for me. I like a price to sales ratio of under a 10. And this stock is just trading on pure speculation that the stock will 3x easily <laughs> because the stock price is going to go lower and people think that since it's going to be easier to buy that it will just go up to a thousand dollars again and no problem and they'll 3x their money like nothing and if you guys think this movement is crazy now i bet there's a lot of smart investors buying right now on the hope that when the split does happen a lot of foolish investors will want to get in and as they drive the stock price up these uh smarter investors will be selling as those people are buying up so it's usually the the patient and experienced investors that make money off these type of parabolic movements and it's usually the more naive investors that end up getting hurt because they buy on fear of missing out and and a lot of people say that um because the stock price is going to be lower and it's going to be more affordable than more people will be buying it. But what people don't realize is so Tesla's current volume right now, which just means how many shares are traded within a day. So their current volume today is 16 million, 16 million shares being traded today. Their average volume is 13 million, um, 13 million shares are traded every day on average for Tesla. What people don't realize is that when the shares in a five to one split, uh, are multiplied by five. So what did we say Tesla? How many shares? Like 180. So once that is multiplied by five, Tesla's gonna have, so let's say 185 times five, Tesla will have 925 shares outstanding. So Tesla's shares are now multiplied by five, which means their volume also has to multiply by five just to be, just to have the same amount of momentum that the stock has currently. So even though you can now buy one share for $300, it will take five times as much trading activity to get back to the um, movement or volatility that Tesla is at right now. So if people are only buying one share at a time, then you would need five times as many investors buying one share at a time, which is possible with Tesla stock, people wanting to get in. But I think uh, more Robinhood investors than anything are the ones that are buying Tesla stock, so they're buying fractional shares anyway. So I wonder if the stock split is even going to make a move in how rapidly Tesla advances. But really, if what I want to say is if you're counting on Tesla to 3x, then you got to bet on the business and not investors buying more stock. Because if you're betting on investors buying more stock and boosting it to a $1 trillion value market cap, then that's just incredibly unhealthy for the stock and I guarantee you there will be a very, very sharp and painful crash for a lot of people. Count on Tesla producing more sales, producing more profits, um, and if you believe that that's the direction that they're moving in, then um, I don't fault you for buying any shares here, but um, I wouldn't be buying shares on the hope that they will Tesla will 3x in a year like they were able to do um, this past year. I think if Elon Musk wasn't involved in Tesla, then it definitely would not have the crazy amount of hype that it, it has right now. So like if some other CEO took over Tesla, oh my God, I pray for that stock price and the current investors right now, because it would not be pretty. Elon is a very likable guy. He gets the millennial and the Gen Z generation. He knows how to appeal to them. Yeah, a lot of people, there's, there's a lot of YouTubers that say it's the future. Full self-driving is coming, but we were told that two years ago, so when is it actually coming? There's just so many uncertainties with Tesla, but it's it's good to see that they're finally profitable. That's my take on Tesla stock and the split and on Tesla being $1,800 a share right now. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for those questions. It means a lot. Much love. Have a nice day. 
Hello and welcome to the Buying King Stock Market Q&A live stream. We do this exclusively on my Discord and I only answer questions that are asked by my Discord members. So if you want to join that Discord, be sure to click the link in the description to join my Discord group.